Michael. And you got uh, dessert from Kelly's there. Yeah, it's Christmas cookies, Santa's bell, stars, the usual. Don't get too carried away with the holiday spirit. Yeah, whatever. Michael. I know you think I'm the enemy right now, but I'm not. You can trust me, okay? Whatever's on your mind, you can tell me. Where are Elizabeth and the boys? Yeah, Cam and Jake are bouncing off the walls. They're so excited about Christmas. Yeah, that's it. They grow up real fast. Uh, what do you got? Uh, Mom and Jack are trimming the tree tonight. I volunteered to pick up the Christmas cookies. Well, you better get home, because you know that your mother sent the rescue team out to get you. Right? <laughs> Sorry for acting like a jerk, that Jason. Ah, uh, it's okay. You've been there plenty of times. Go ahead. See you later. Yeah. Thanks for cutting him some slack. Yeah, well, he uh, obviously knows something about Claudia's death. Look, Sonny, I know you're trying to protect your son by telling him to keep quiet about whatever he knows. But it's eating him up inside. They don't let you, as you probably know. I've known you, what, since you were 10, 11 years old. I watched you grow up and learn that fathers aren't the gods that you want them to be. They're just men who are doing the best they can. It's a harsh realization. And when you walked out on Luke and your family, because you couldn't deal with the truth, you know. No, yeah, you gave me odd jobs here and there. Running errands, washing cars. I'm sure my dad put you up to it to keep me from leaving. Dad. It wasn't him. It was me. Because I saw how, how your dad felt when you stopped looking up to him. Like Cameron and Jake look up to you. Yeah. I'm not that kid anymore, sonny. All right, look, you got a job to do. And I respect that. If you got any questions about Claudia, you come to me. You don't go to Michael, because he's been through a lot. He's in the coma, and he's still suffering the physical effects. Yeah, I'm sure the emotional trauma from knowing his stepmother got him shot. I'm asking you as a father, and as a friend, leave this alone, Lucky. All right, sooner or later, I'm gonna have to step aside because of conflict of interest. And Carly and Michael are family. But whoever takes my place, they're not gonna be nearly as understanding. It's the biggest tree we've ever had. We need it for all the ornaments your stepfather bought. Oh, well, we got a lot to celebrate this year. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ah. Jocelyn's not gonna remember any of this. Well, we can still read her Christmas stories and give her presents. You were the best big brother, you know that? Yeah, just remember that when you're buying me presents. Speaking of presents, <laughs> I have something that uh, you have to open tonight. Me? Mm hmm. Huh? What is it? I can't tell you that. Can you give me a hint? Okay, fine. You know what? I'll just give it to you so you can see it first. <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, I want to open it really badly, but I think we should wait till Michael gets home. Yeah, I wonder what's taking him so long. Maybe you stopped at Grandpa Mike's to get all the cookies. Mm. Uh, I hope so. Me too. I have tons of fruits and vegetables I'm going to pick out on some cookies. Ooh, maybe we should put the lights on. That's a good idea. We can hang the ornaments for Michael gets back. Oh. Michael made this for me when he was in kindergarten. He was so proud when he gave it to me. If I go any further to the left, I'm going to fall off the stool. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay, done. There we go. Can you turn on the lights, Morgan? Yeah, sure. Come on. <gasps> wow! They're perfect. They're the best lights we've ever had. Oh, that's not yes. bad. 
huh? Good job. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> There you are. Oh, it took you so long. Grandpa and Mike really outdid himself this year. Oh. Mom was ready to eat all the cookies. Mm -hmm. Would I do that, Mom? Never, never, because you're such a great son. Oh, and Mom wouldn't let us put up the ornaments till you got here. Well, you didn't have to wait for me. Yes, I did. Yeah. And now that we're all here, I have a very special gift for you. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't have. Make her wait till Christmas. No, no. Oh, she's waited 15 minutes. I can't torture her any longer. Here it is. What is it? See what it says? Jocelyn. Baby's first Christmas. Show it to Jocelyn. Yeah. Hey, sweet girl. That's what this is. It's your present. Your daddy brought it for you. <laughs> yeah, for your first Jack's family Christmas. Look at that. She's smiling. <laughs> she, <laughs> she likes it. Okay. Oh, Mr. Pirelli, you want to have a word with you? Yeah, you know, we uh, probably got to stop meeting like this. I wouldn't risk blowing your cover if I didn't think it was important. Where are you with Claudia Zakar's parents? Hmm. Well, you know, I thought I had enough for an arrest for Sonny, but my superiors decided that the evidence wasn't good enough. Weren't they expecting a DVD confession? Ha! That's exactly what I said. All right, focus on Michael. My gut tells me he knows something. Well, you know, I mean, Morgan and I were pretty tight, but uh, Michael's always been pretty sketchy around me. I just have a feeling he wants to talk to someone. You're one of Sonny's trusted men. Maybe he'll feel safe with you. We miss any spots? After we already put 680 ornaments on the tree. 681. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. Yeah, Rockefeller Center's got nothing on us. <laughs> um, they forgot to pack the angel that goes on top of the tree. Oh. I have gold wrapping paper I can cut out a star and put up there. Paper? A paper star on top of our masterpiece. Yeah, I don't think so either. This, this was a really nice handmade piece from Italy, and mm. uh, these boxes came from the hotel, so I'm going to go over there and see if I can find it. Okay. Mm. I'll go with you. Okay. We got some hot chocolate on the way back, huh? Michael, you want to come with us? No, you guys go ahead. Okay. No, oh, at the risk of sounding like a hovering mom. You okay? Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of weird to think that you guys were doing this without me last year. Yeah. I missed you so much. I think that's why Jack's going overboard here. Yeah, he's doing it for Jocelyn. No, he's doing it for you, too. He loves you. You know, he really does. It's cool, Mom, really. You know, Jocelyn's his first baby, you know. Besides, it gave me a good idea. Oh, what? I don't want to go surprise Dad. Now you? Yeah, I mean, I saw him, I saw him earlier. He seemed kind of down. You know, maybe he's lonely all by himself. Well, can't you see him tomorrow? It, it won't be long. You know, Grandpa and Mike's cookies might cheer him up. That's very thoughtful of you. Okay, I'll see you later. Hey, Lucky. Hey. Come in. Well, that's quite the tree you got there. Yeah, we were trimming it earlier. So, uh, is Michael here? He's out. Why? Did he mention that we ran into each other earlier? No. No, I'm, I'm guessing that's why he was late. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could speak to him for a couple minutes. Please don't. Carly, he's going through something. Yeah! And you're his cousin. Can you give him a break? He's had a bad year, and I want it to end. I know. I know that. Sonny said the same thing to me. You talked to Sonny? Yeah. He, he showed up earlier. Sent Michael on his way. And he reminded me of how my relationship with my dad fell apart, and he was a friend to me then. Maybe you could return the favor by backing off of Michael. That's what I'm trying to do. I want to help him, Carly. Not as a cop, but as his cousin. Because I can see the road that he's headed down, and it's not good. And I've been there myself.